Oh, that's a nice clean break there with the eight damp courses. Day three, good morning. So today's main focus at the moment, one sec, is getting these steels set up and ready. So I've got the doors out, just popped them off, and we're gonna get the steels and the trestles brought around in a sec, and the acros. And then once we've got all that set up, Vic's also gonna bring his stuff a bit later on today, so steels are the main focus, and then we're also, I'm going to try and get this block work up at least at some point today. So for now we'll get you set up on time lapse while we get this sorted out and uh, catch you in a bit. Right, that's a bit different, isn't it? We're ready to go. Like I said, we're coming out with this pencil mark. So the steel is going to go past underneath that lead. That's why I've had the roof spars taken out. Same there, so it's much easier getting steel in now. Um, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, so it'll be going up there a bit. And then electrician green and cut all that off. So let's be careful there if you've got 10 mil radiator pipes in the corner there. Same here. And again this, this is coming back flush. This is coming back flush. Pad stones on the external skin. Uh, catnip to come out, steel to go in. This side should be straightforward. There's the wood. Um right behind us. Which wood. The reason I say that is there's a cavity tray there and they've, not, they've done it, what you shouldn't do really and built it right through so that cavity tray is a is a break in the block work so all of those should just fall out because they're not bonded to anything. Fingers crossed. So that'd be helpful. This steel is going to have to slot in that way a bit and get onto that skin there. So um, we're going to get the steels in so they're going to go like that, because the two ones fit in the room, and the same there, could be on an angle like that. Then we can put the acros in, and we'll lift them up and in. Actually, it'll be that way, won't it? Because it'll have to go into there. Mm. So, we might have to take a bit extra out there as well, to swing it in, and just try to slot it in. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, take a put an extra bit of block weight back in. Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. Doors are out. Everything's stripped back, ready to go. 
little big pile of shite in the way that we need to come back to get rid of that we can pull that back as long as we've got room to finish this off and then again all strip back here so we can get up there now and start making a mess so first thing is get these steels into the chaos. I'm up on the chessels and the back's out. We started taking the cheeks down, that's almost down that side, this side's nearly down. Um, gonna have to do a bit of repair work on that and that's ready for pad stones, that means another two cores taken out. We're getting 150 seating over there, we're getting 250 over this side because it's um, on the corner. Um, we're in a position now where we can jump inside, undermine, get inside propped, undermine this lintel, drop the lintel out, and then we're in a state, we're in a position then to get, start getting the steels in. So that's the plan. Leave the trestles up, go in there on the ladders. Take just take out, just take out the seat under the lintel so it drops, and then everything else will come out on top. Then we're going to might have to put a few grabbers into the blocks to hold them together, stop them dropping. But we'll see anyway. So we'll catch you on the inside. That was a bad empty stop. No. That was agony.
하게. 즐겁네. So, hey, give you a quick update. As you've just seen, we've uh, done some uh, stitch drilling because, long story short, the steel is going to be cut down a bit. We're going to have to close this gap up a little bit. 150 nibs either side. 150 nibs either side because, I'll take you up here. I don't know if you can see, but there's pipes and cables all the way through there, right where we need to get our steel. So, we're going to chat with the customer, and they've said that it's fine to close up a little bit and have the nibs to make life easier for everybody, so that's what we're doing. So, I was doing the stitch drilling, just got one more side to do, and Dad, <laughs> Dad has cut the steel accordingly, as you've just seen. We'll try and get this, we'll try and get this steel in. And then, then I think, up here, then I think we'll be trying to get that bricked up just to make sure it's uh, secure in here now. So, <coughs> it's very dusty and uh, smells of burnt metal now, but um, it's good that we know what we're doing. We're a bit panicky at first because obviously we didn't know how all that was going to go, but thankfully the customer was really helpful and just agreed to uh, make life easier. So, so I'll get the rest of that stitching done and then we'll try and get this steel in. So, see you there. Do you think we need a new grip?
here's the organised chaos from inside. Here's our acros ready. I'm going to put one at each end to take that end joist. And then the rest of the joist we're going to get with a piece of 32 and three acros. Once that's done, we can drop this out. And it's a nice clean break there with the damp courses. We just might have to um, drill the beam filling, that one definitely, because it looks loose, and fix it with a uh, grabbers into the joist, stop them falling. Because it won't say fall you've had it. So yeah, um, well, let's just nip the torch, I'm going to get these acros in as much as I can while well, well, we told. I was about to come and grab the camera to film this, but as I did, the already went. Uh, well, thank you, When it goes down, these things just fell out. It's been held up by the damp cross. I'm going to try and get that back in. Screwed up. This is a uh, do not try this at home job. Dad yeah. was just uh, drilling it. You probably didn't even see it on the time lapse was that quick. It just <laughs> went. Yeah, made me jump. It made me jump as well. And then all the all the, all the falling bricks have just fell like dominoes. And as you can see, that block's being held on by the cavity tray. So we've got some grabbers though. So we're gonna try and Thank you. We're gonna try and get the grabbers on and just sit the block there. And now obviously once the steel's on, we'll we're gonna bed the top of the steel so it should it'll be get it'll get bedded back as well, so that was a. Uh, Hairy. Just a bit, yeah. Don't try that one at home. We're, uh, we're borderline professionals, and even we uh, got scared. Don't exaggerate. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'll, um, I'll get you set up so you can watch the, uh, the grabbing. We're going to need a piece of timber and acro to push that back up, and then I can put some screws in to hold it. Can I not push it up? It's three bricks. Hey? It's three bricks. You mean? How is it? It's not a block, it's three bricks. Right, and we can go back in as well. As long as they're pushed up, it doesn't matter if they're loose. They're going to be held up by the steel. Yeah. It's just once the steel is attacked, they're easing back in there. Be very careful. Ooh. Push it up as tight as you can. Yep. Yeah. So, it's back in, and if you, I don't know if you heard that or not, but so we've put some screws and grabbers in, and we're going to just do it with the other ones too, just to play it safe, because obviously if that one's loose, who's to say if the other ones are loose too, so. Making sure we play this one extra safe after they all just uh, attacked us, so. Um, but, 
Release the, release the lintels out, we're ready for the seals. So, I think I best... I best get this mix finished. So I can get that some more to set these pad stones and... And we can get this uh, steel set in that way as well. When Vic and Sean come back, they can get the roof back on. So, and then try and get some brickwork done. The mess is getting bigger. We do have a skipper, you see. It's getting transported to a skipper and the job. So it's piling up a bit. There's uh, nowhere we can really put it. So we're in a position now. That end's ready. This end's, actually that end is taken down a bit for the padstone. This end's ready. That end's taken back for the padstone. Um, yeah, um, we can lift the stairs into place. Get everything supported. Put an echo in it. Put one echo in the middle, or one, two echoes on, whatever. So all the echo in that one goes off, and then pad stones fit tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll have the pad stones to do, finish off the brickwork and all the block work. So we're definitely pushing it for time now. So yeah, um, I want to go in there now, get the rest of this out from that side, so I'm not destroying those pipes. Pipes in the way. Pipes in the way. Pipes in the way. Okay, we've been disconnected, so... Right, see you in there. Right. I'll give you the rundown. It's been a bit of a change of plan, but nothing dramatic. So, basically, that is now ready for seals. The um, platform is, well, it's ready for padstones and steel, should I say. So, all that's been cut out ready, so you can get your padstones there, steel on there. Same on that side, it's all ready. But the time now is yeah, about yeah, 20 to 3, so the time is going to take for us to get the steel set up up there, both of them, get the, all that stuff ready, and we need to get that brick work done. Tell them why we need to get the brick work done. Well, if they, if they can't figure it out for themselves. <laughs> back door's missing. Yeah, not got a back door anymore, so that needs to seal up the house so no one can just hop in, so. To factor in doing this, do getting them steels and that brickwork done, we'd be here all night. So we're just gonna, we've got it set up for the steels now. So then, Dad, he's gonna jump on the brickwork now. Mix is ready, and as you can see, I've got a lot of mess to clean up. There's our bloody steels. Don't try that at home, by the way. This, uh, and there's our bloody technique that fell on, fell out, so to say. But yeah, and th another thing as well, I trust that setup more than two steels being propped up by one acro. So, that ain't going anywhere with, with eight acros there, so. There you go. So I'll probably let you, I'll send you over to Dad while he gets his trestle set up and I'll help him get it set up.
we are done today. I'll pass you over to the main man. You can I'm shake. too tired to talk. I'm too tired to talk. <laughs> yeah, oh. Here you go, the main man will show you what he's done. Sorry, the main man's not available, so I'm on. Just give you a wipe. Who's the main man then? If you're not? I don't know. It's not us. Right. Alex has had a good tidy up in there, so we can see some floor. It doesn't look like it, but I have. There's a lot come out of there, believe it or not. So tomorrow, rest of the cheeks to come out, steel's in, pad stone's in. Block work up there, block work up there, and I've got to get three bricks on the top of that. Just ran short of mortar by three bricks. So there you go. Bloody hell. Looks alright though. Don't forget this roof's coming off and they're going to bed a timber wall plate on top of that. And then got a profile hole to fill in. And uh, it's still going to be a busy day tomorrow, but we're going to get here as early as we can and get stuck in. Everything's set out, so it's just a matter of finishing everything we started today. Steel's ready to go in. Right, we shall leave it at that and see it in the morning. <laughs>